Following up on my video yesterday where I showed that on an 8GB graphics card like the RTX 4070 Ti, if you go to the max settings in Resident Evil 4 at 1440p, and you then try to start the game. Let me make sure that V-Sync is turned off. All right, good, for frame rate testing purposes. All right, we try to start up the game. I'm just gonna continue my save, and the, I'm filming this live, but I'm pretty sure it is just going to crash as soon as we get in here. So, ray tracing enabled, all the um, textures turned up, and hey, there is that predictable crash. What is going on? Well, in that video, I showed that if you get the memory limits under control, that it then does not crash. However, people in the comment section wanted me to clarify that you can exceed the ray tracing, uh, sorry, you can exceed the memory limit when you are not ray tracing without getting the game to actually crash. I also should clarify, and, and I think I kind of did as I showed other video games, you know, exceeding their memory limits in that video, that this is unexpected behavior. Usually when you exceed your VRAM capacity, the game doesn't actually crash. Um, usually you would run into stuttering issues and reduced performance. So the next thing I want to show is that if we just leave everything the same, right? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double check, check. we're going to the... Uh, we're gonna to go to the preset, we're going to click max again, make sure everything's at the max setting here, but we're going to turn ray tracing off. You can see that our VRAM expected usage is still up there at like 12 gigabytes. You know, the, the VRAM used by ray tracing is significant, but it's still gonna leave us way over the 12 gigabytes of VRAM, and I should be able to continue the game and this time I am not expecting it to crash when that is the only change that I've made. What's going on here? And also performance looks, well, fairly smooth. What's going on here is I think that the, this, this is now performing more like what you would expect to happen when you're short on VRAM. And what's going to happen is that the higher resolution textures that it's trying to load are just going to struggle to load in properly. So what you'll see is that you'll get lower resolution textures at times when you would expect to have higher resolution textures. And there could be, um, in some games at least, a little more stutter and visual performance issues, all that kind of thing. So I'm not gonna guarantee that it will never crash under these circumstances, but I did want to correct that um, or at least add to my last video that, yeah, the game doesn't crash just because you're going over the VRAM limit. It crashes because you're going over the VRAM limit when it has ray tracing enabled, which is unusual behavior. Um, so anyway, it's also not saying that these are nonsense and it's not really trying to use that amount of, um, of texture. So when you go down to these lower settings, notice this high setting, and then it says like one gigabyte, high two gigabytes, all of that, it goes into red, all of those things. And then it goes down to uh, even lower versions of high, and then it goes down to medium at 0.5 gigabyte. So, so what is going on with all that? Well, I think there are three different versions of the textures. There's the low textures, the medium textures, and the high textures. And then the value you're seeing next to that is how much, um, video memory you're telling the game to use as a cache for those textures to hold it in video memory. So when you give it a lower amount, it realizes you have less to work with. And look, we do see like the textures right here on this brick wall look pretty bad, right? So I think these might eventually swap into the higher textures once it works it through or maybe it won't, but if we go up to the higher textures, right, we should see those improve. Look, I went up to the one gigabyte allocation and this definitely improves. I saw some people uh, on my last video also saying that turning up the, the textures doesn't really matter. Like they all look the same, the game doesn't crash, there's no performance uh, issue at all. Well, there's, there's definitely some differences when you lower the amount of, of um, texture cache that it has. So hopefully this is clarifying some of what's going on in this game. It's that the game definitely wants to have more room to cache textures than an eight gigabyte graphics card has. And then when you um, don't have that amount available, the game doesn't crash unless you have ray tracing enabled. Now I can't enable ray tracing without um, 
uh, quitting back to the uh, desktop, or at least to the menu, sorry. So once again, I want to show you that when I have ray tracing enabled, I'm not able to just flip through those textures like that, right? So if I go back here, and again, I go to the max settings, so this, this kicks the ray tracing back on. Uh, again, if I turn the textures down so that it won't crash, we're going to go down to um, a pi 0.5, then I should be able to load into the game. And then this, uh, like I said, this, this should not crash. But look, you definitely do see blurry looking textures right here. Like that, that brick should look better than that. Now, once you're in the game, you can try turning up the textures because in this particular scene, see, it's only using five, uh, you know, like five and a half ish, right? So I, I can go up to the one gigabyte amount here. Um, looks like that brick still looks pretty bad. I can try going up to two, but then it's going to crash. But wait, look, it, it finally loaded in, right? It took extra time. Oh, and then it loaded back out. So do you see what's going on here again? That it's trying to load in the high textures, but it doesn't have a large enough cache. So look, that texture's fading in and out. Look, you can see it popping in and out right here. So it's pretty crazy stuff. And then again, when the ray tracing is enabled, going up to this setting, I'm pretty sure is about to crash the game. Yep, it just crashed the game right there. So my overall conclusion on this is that the eight gigabytes of VRAM isn't supposed to crash the game when you go beyond its limit. What, what it causes is those issues with the textures popping in and out, and it doesn't, the game doesn't look the way that it should. So why is this game crashing, but only when ray tracing is enabled? I think that has to do with just, there's some kind of bad programming going on in this engine. Honestly, the ray tracing does not look very good in this game. Um, it's not particularly impressive. Um, so I would recommend probably just turning it off because then it avoids the game crashing when you run out of the textures. Um, so that would be my recommendation is just turn the ray tracing off. And then that also reduces just the VRAM workload. So you're more likely to be able to um, be around the two gigabyte or, or so textures without running over your, um, your VRAM limitation. And again, we'll still see some issues, but the point is that on a lower tier graphics, uh, sorry, lower amounts of graphics memory like this, I do think um, that you're just gonna have to have the ray tracing off. Now, what, what is going on with this game? Well, I'm not a graphics engineer, I'm not a game developer, and I certainly have no experience actually uh, with how the code behind the, re uh, the RE engine works. But here's, here's what I think is happening. I think that the game, is, um, so, so what's supposed to happen when you run out of VRAM? It's supposed to spill over into your system memory. And then it should be able to still pull things out of system memory when you need to, but then that's what causes some stuttering and slowdown of the game. With the ray tracing enabled, I have a feeling that somehow the way that they programmed their ray tracing, just, it, it needs access to some of that information that should be spilling over into the system memory. So I think that um, somehow the way they programmed their ray tracing just does not work when it's trying to access information that has spilled over into system RAM instead of VRAM. And that's not how other games I've seen work. Again, they don't usually actually just crash. So something's up with this game, and it would be nice, and possibly this engine, <laughs> um, with how it, how it does ray tracing. But again, you only see that problem when it spills past um, the VRAM buffer that you have. So while the solution for the 3070 Ti here at least is just turn off ray tracing, um, and then the texture pop-in isn't too bad or anything like that, the, same, the game still looks and runs great. Um, you know, it, it's also a little bit annoying in the sense that, you know, one of the main reasons why you buy the NVIDIA card over the AMD card at the similar price point that has 16 gigabytes of VRAM is to have the better ray tracing performance. And yet we're seeing a game here where you can't enable the ray tracing anyway. Uh, so it is what it is. Now, in general, um, like I said, in, in most games, having the eight gigabytes of VRAM is not the end of the world it's just going to cause some issues at times. 
and I think that's going to become more frequent. Speaking of which, I saw in the comment section to my video yesterday on this topic, uh, a lot of people saying the Diablo 4 beta is extremely VRAM hungry with the higher texture settings and stutters pre pretty badly on GPUs that don't have um, large amounts of memory, including cards like the 3080 and such. So um, anyway, it's looking like that might become more and more common, but I did want to add these details into this video. So basically, turn off ray tracing and you're pretty much fine, although it's a shame that you have to do that on a card that you probably paid more money for specifically to, to do ray tracing. Um, <laughs> but uh, then also, like I said, people saying that turning it down to the high settings doesn't make a difference and that the, these amounts don't matter or anything like that. Well, again, if you go to the lower texture pools, it certainly does uh, load in worse looking textures. And the less VRAM that you have, um, again, it's trying to load in the high textures as long as you're on high, but the less VRAM pool that you have, the less successful it's going to be at doing that. Um, but anyway, with ray tracing off, it at least solves most of the problems. And my overall, I don't think I'm gonna do a lot of performance testing in this game because other than this one issue, the game actually performs really well. You can see here that, that the 3070 Ti completely maxed out except for ray tracing and textures is getting like 100 FPS in this scene. Um, so I don't think there's anything super interesting to say about the performance here other than these weird VRAM issues and crashing. So I hope all of you have an excellent day.